up guys i'm chirag and welcome to this video and as always i hope that you are finding the tutorials helpful right so today i'm here to start a new tutorial series which is amazon websocket api gateway tutorial right and i will try to keep the tutorials as simple as possible so welcome to part one of the tutorial series on amazon websocket api gateway tutorial Right, so in this tutorial, I will take you through on creation of the WebSocket API. Right, so uh, what exactly is WebSocket API? So basically, WebSocket API is a technology that makes the bi-directional interactive communication possible between the client and server. So here client can be the web browser, right? So WebSocket API is ideal for applications like chatbot, real-time dashboards, real-time alerts and notification system, collaborative platforms, or it can be multiplayer games, right? So we will start with the basic difference between REST API and WebSocket API, right? So how they works and how they create the connection, right? So at the very high level. So I have come up with this diagram at the very high level. So basically in REST API, the client initiates the request with HTTP methods like get, post, delete, right? And REST API will react accordingly based on the integration it have which, with that method, right? So basically client sends the request and based on the method or the HTTP method, the server will perform the action and send out some response back to the client, right? So that's how, uh, REST API works, it's kind of a request response model, right? So REST API is unidirectional in nature and probably it is not suitable for real-time applications like chatbot and few of the application that I just mentioned earlier, right? So that's a REST API. Whereas in WebSocket API, the client application connects to the WebSocket API by sending a WebSocket upgrade request, right? So client will send the HTTP upgrade request to the server and in response, the server will send the acknowledgement packet. And if everything is successful, then the connection will be open between client and server, right? And once the connection is open, the bi-directional communication or the bi-directional exchange of messages can take place uh, between client and server, right? So when I say uh, it's bi-directional, uh, which means uh, two-way communication can happen that is from client to server and vice versa is possible. Whereas in REST API, it is unidirectional in nature, right? So basically WebSocket API uses a single TCP connection uh, for transfer of the messages between client and server, right? So, and finally, uh, for closing the connection, any of the entity can close the connection. So it can be a client or it can be a server, right? So basically it can be a timeout or client close the connection, right? So that's how the closing of connection takes place in WebSocket API, right? So this is kind of the very basic difference between REST API and WebSocket API. Right, so now we will move back to AWS Management Console and we will jump to the API Gateway because as I said, we are going to create the WebSocket API in this tutorial, right? So once you are within API Gateway, click on Create API from the top right corner. Now here we have three options. We are going to select WebSocket API. So click on Build. Now give it a name. So I will say WebSocket tutorial. And then we have route selection expression. So basically the route selection expression tells API gateway which route to call when a WebSocket message is received by mapping the value found at the evaluated expression to a route key, right? So I know it sounds confusing, uh, but it will get clear uh, maybe in the part two of this tutorial series, right? So here uh, we are going to mention dollar request dot body dot message 
or it can be dollar dot request dot body dot action or any key you want to mention right so it's going to be dollar request dot body dot message or you want to keep it as action then you can keep it as action or anything you want and then you can add a description uh, if you want and once you are done with that click on create api right and here we have successfully created the websocket api right so here uh, in the left panel uh, we are on the routes so here we have route selection expression that we have defined while creating the websocket api right and then we have these routes that is connect disconnect or default so for example client is trying to connect to the websocket api then connect route will be called and then when client is trying to disconnect or client is disconnected from the websocket api then disconnect route will call and any other request that might come goes to default and we can add another route keys over here right so at this point of time all the routes are disabled we have to click on it to add the route but we are not going to do that now uh, i will take you through routes in the next tutorial right so basically at the very high level route selection expression right now is request.body.action right so basically this expression tells api gateway how to determine which route or which action to perform right and now for example we have another key saying message right so so now if i go ahead and pass action colon message then it will evaluate the expression and it will determine that message route should be called right so that's how uh, route selection expression will work but we will come to that in the next tutorial right so now moving along uh, then we have stages so these are going to be our deployment stage so it can be a uh, development it can be dev prod or testing or whatever stage uh, as per the requirement uh, we want to create or deploy right and then we have authorizers so we can create a new authorizer that is based on the lambda function right so that's authorizers then we have models so basically models represent the data structure of a method request or response payload right so you can click on create and define the model schema right and then uh, we have dashboard so here you can get some insights regarding message count connection count and whatnot right so right now we don't have uh, any anything over here because we have just created and we have not even deployed right so and then we have settings so here we have some general information and endpoint configuration so that is endpoint type as regional and the api key source right so where to look for the uh, api key so that's api key source right so that's uh, so so this is a very high level about a uh, websocket api right so i know uh, routes might sound little confusing at this point of time but the idea will get clear in the next tutorial right because uh, the next tutorial is going to be about routes right so well uh, this is all i wanted to cover in this tutorial right so as i said in the next tutorial we will create routes and i will take you through the route selection expression and how that works right so well that's it for this tutorial and finally i would like to request you to click on the subscribe button if you are still not subscribed to my channel uh, followed by the bell icon right so see you in the next tutorial thank you